<laughs> Man, it's your boy, Aaron, a.k.a. Young God, coming to you live in the Pink Dungeon. <laughs> Man, they get it to you real raw, rugged, and um, we're in here with uh, another review. Uh, it's at Chief Keef, um, uh, Chief Keef, excuse me. I meant C. Robin. You ever guys, you ever guys, uh, anybody ever heard the song uh, Slow Dance by Chief Keef? Really great song, you should check it out. NT Ways, C. Robin, Order 66, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? This is a young nigga from KTT. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I had to review my dog album, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's get straight into it. I don't know. I mean, I was on his last mixtape, Goofy Tunes, if you've never heard that. Um, I guess I really should give him a proper introduction because most of my subscribers probably don't know who this nigga is. C. Robin, uh, rapper type guy last year, was on his Travis Scott type wave. He done switched it up on y'all boys. He ain't even rapping no more, man. This is it's like a pop, electro type album with like hints of just like, I don't know. You gotta listen to it. It's hard to explain. It's like just pop almost. SoundCloud pop is what he call it. So that's what I'm gonna call it, man. But let's get into it, man. Order. First track, man. It starts off with the like keys that sound just like Good Guy from uh, Blonde on Frank Ocean now. We know the Good Guy even <laughs> Uh, the first time I saw you, you don't act the way you look. <laughs> I, you took me to the gay bar. <laughs> this is the gay bar you took me to. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think Frank Ocean was cooking on that song. And he said, this is the gay bar you took me to. <laughs> I, <laughs> shout out to Frankie, yo, man. But this is, uh, this start off just like this. And then it start getting upbeat. The... You almost got the gay club vibe to it. I feel like I'm at a gay pride event and shit. <laughs> I feel like a whole bunch of like white gay niggas with their shirts. Ow! Sit up and daddy! A whole bunch of Hispanic niggas. Ow, daddy! Oh, poppy! I feel like they say shit. You got that magic on me. This is so fire. Magic is a reoccurring theme throughout this whole album. We're gonna get to that. But I love the way this all started off, man. He said, I want you all to myself, my girl. Cause, boom, boom, you got that magic on me. Send it back when I end with a phony girl. You got that magic on me. That nigga say, he said, I spent this chapter of my life oh so lonely. Girl, you put that magic on me. Ooh, that shit fire, man. Shout out to him, man. He put the, he put the gay pride anthem, man. Whole bunch of niggas gonna be goddamn doing this. Ow, puppy! <laughs> you see Robin, man. Shout out to my dog, see Robin, man. Hope they don't see the smoke. Chat number two. Now, this is probably one of the wildest songs on the album because he does like a Yeezus beat transition, which catch everybody off guard, man. I probably just spoiled it for you. I ain't going to tell you when it transitioned or how it transitioned. Just know it's a transition where you're like, what the fuck did this just happen, man? Because it started off with the with the high pitch. Uh, He said, I forgot to write it down because he told me exactly what he said. He said something like, uh, basically, he was messing with two serpents. He thought they had wings. And he was like, what he said, um... <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. What did nigga say? Uh, he said, I can still see the scars on my neck. Hey, hey. Like, like they bit him on his neck or he got the, the, or the hickeys on his neck. You know what I'm saying? Like, they left his mark. I can still feel the balls in my head. Hey, hey, hey. And he basically talking about riding in the car with his old girl with the lights off while they was smoking. And the, put, and the police pulled up behind him. You know what I'm saying? Apparently a true story, man. That nigga say, hope they don't see the smoke. Ooh. Hey, hey. Say, hope they don't see the smoke. Hey. And then he, he sampled himself and he say, oh, oh, yeah, oh, 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 yeah. Because I'm like, bro, what, what is that? He said, that's me. Like, he sampled himself and lowered his uh, pitch of vocals. Fire, man. This nigga sampled himself. Nigga's next level, man. That's fire right there, man. Uh, and then the beat transition on some Yeezus jump. And then like, I'm like, what the? Nigga, I feel like I'm walking in the jungle with goddamn all type of lions and shit. But that shit, it, it puts you in a jungle atmosphere. Like, like you finna get ate by a bear or something. Like, bro, it's crazy, bro. You get that? You got that magic on me. I don't want you. I don't even want you. You got that magic on me. Hey, it could be too many bitches on me. I don't want them. I be lonely. You got that magic on me. 
Magic. That's fire, man. Bro, like I said, magic is a reoccurring theme. The fact that that nigga said that he got so many bitches on him and he gonna be lonely because she got that magic. Boy, I don't know what type of magic she put on you, but he, she must put the Erica Badu voodoo on that nigga, man. She put the Erica Badu on that nigga, man. Put the Erica Badu voodoo. Hey, I don't know. I don't know what type of relationship that nigga was in. I don't want to be in that, man. That, hey, song's fire though. And then we go to resort with the very much more tropical melody vibes. So, that's fire right there. Uh, and hey, he's still in love with his song right here, man. He said, I'm alone. When I'm alone, I feel comfortable because I know you there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that was about like somebody that's like deceased or if that's about his girl. That's about his girl and she, and she not even now. <laughs> but he still feel her there. Well, I'm talking about this nigga was in, I don't, <laughs> this nigga was dating a, a, a poltergeist or something. I don't know what's going on. But I'm going to assume that was about somebody who's no longer living. I don't know. You let me know about that, see, Robin. Still a fire song. And then we go to Baby Girl 100. Fire song. It put me in a mind state of like, I'm on Miami Beach. I'm on Miami Beach or something with like a Hawaiian shirt open on some coke and just in a club dancing, man. The whole, uh, you know, I want, I want them honeys, baby. Honeys, baby. Ooh, ooh, I want them hundreds, baby. It sound like a Fergie song, low key. Probably, hey, you low key sound like Fergie on this song, nigga. Hey, we gotta see Robin biting Fergie, man. What's the Fergie song? Uh, I got the magic, uh -huh. I got the magic, magic. What's that Fergie song I'm humming right now? I don't know, but he he on his Fergie swag right here, man. But it's a fire song. And then we go to Star, man. When I'm talking about Star, is a special song, brother. Star is special, brother. That nigga say, Beauty Queen, you are a star, man. The way the, uh, it, it, it stands out on the highway. It stands out on the highway. And then we come, baby girl, you are a star. In the pain from my heart, baby girl, you are a star. Ooh, and then, and then he started low key rapping and singing when he say, uh, you the reason for all of my songs. You the reason I took all the auto tune off. Ooh, nigga, he said, she, nigga, you know how in love you got to be for a girl to make. She got there making this nigga take musical risk, man. That, that nigga say, you the reason I took all the auto tune off, man. That's fire, man. This this whole song is fire right here, man. What he said, man. That that, that nigga said, uh. A nigga say, you got past all of my guards. Now I'm paying to God that you stay in my arms. Please don't stray off. You can't go too far. Cause, cause baby girl, you are a star. From the pain in my heart. Baby girl, you are a star. You can fuck any man that you want in the world. But baby girl, you are a star. Ooh! <laughs> Hey, bro, I'm about to get me a girlfriend just for that and break up with it the next day, man. I gotta fall in love for just two days and goddamn just put that on and be like, baby girl, you are a star. And then cheat on the next day, you know what I'm saying? I got to. I gotta do something after that, bro. This is a fire song to, do, to like, you know what I'm saying? Treat your girl like a queen and do, then do like some scumbag activities the next day. Perfect song for that, man. Cause that nigga sound like he finna do some scumbag activities. Like you can tell in his vocals that he mean it, but then like tomorrow he gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, little baby cross the street kinda fine. I'm at the goddamn do my little wiggling side, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then we go to Desire. Desire came out before the album came out. This is fire, man. Somebody go, hey, somebody told us that we always touching. She always wear my clothes. You always got up in my soul, got up in my soul. That's fire right there, man. Uh and then we got Mason song, man. I, I heard some of this before it came out. I thought he was saying, I'm a bee in Africa. I was like, okay, honey. <laughs> this nigga going back to his roots and shit, you know what I'm saying? See, Robert, the Middle Easter, man. But nah, he talking about, he said, I think I need another cup. And I love that sample. I think I need another I see Rob, that's not even a sample. That's fire, man. Then we got Ghost Rider. Gosh, man. Let's talk about it, man. Ghost Rider, too fire, man. What that nigga say? That nigga say, girl, you get me, bro, you got me strong, yeah. You see my phone, yeah. You my Ghost Rider, where you, where you forcing all my songs. Your lips did the production and your hips get credit too, yeah. You my Ghost Rider, where you forcing all my songs. Forcing all my songs. Forcing.
<laughs> hey, wait, what if they just broke out a melody like that? For sin, for sin, for sin, for sin. That nigga just started like, God damn, nigga. I didn't know you were saying for real. I thought we would just do a little cool song. <laughs> nigga started busting out a melody. But hey, that's a fire song, bro. He's saying he's so in love with the girl. Now she goes right to nigga songs without even touching nigga pen. Bro, this song, this album is fire, bro. This nigga's so in love and it's beautiful, bro. See my girls right away, she forcing all my songs. Her lips did the production, now her hips get credit too, yeah. Ooh, that's funny. Say it, what that nigga say? I see faces now, I see chances now. Ooh, that nigga was in that big cooking, bro. Hey, man, then we go to B3. Hey man, uh, when I, I said okay, this Five Nights at Freddy tier music. This is a this is definitely like a beat you hear like on Five Nights at Freddy when like you got all the lights off, you trying to like play a scary game. This is it right here, man. Just the beat is so creepy, bro. What you say? You a satellite the way that you revolve on my mind. It's time. What the nigga say? Ooh, moving it that way. Yeah, yeah, that shit was hard, man. It's just like very creepy beat. And he's singing over it, and it's 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 very different. Like if you want, you can, I can't compare this to any song that I've heard this year. It's very creepy. The beat is really like it's like oh, it's very creepy. Like I can hear it's like in a scary like movie or a game or something. It's fire. Then we got Mama. Now we're getting depressing, man. He's based on like his mom finding drugs in the room. He was on Xanax a couple years ago, then he stopped because he don't want his mom to have another OD in the family. I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? So he came through with the introspective Robin. Also, I fuck with it. Um. Hey, and then we got E N F P dash T, the last song. Very smooth, like saxophone sample, I guess. I feel like it hurts my coming house. But no, very like smooth, like saxophone sample. Very, very nice sample, too. The whole thing is just very, like, pretty. And he talks about, like, uh, you got that magic on me. But the beat, the beat, like, dropping this time, you know what I'm saying? So I like that. So basically, talking about uh, the girl having the magic on him, and uh, yeah. I don't know what type of voodoo this girl got on him, but hey, man, it's wild and it's working because the music is great. So, hey, that's what we got today, man. Let's check out the C. Robin. Until next time, y'all already know I say what I mean, I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate it. Please gonna play highlight your bar, man. I'm gonna put bro uh, music in the description too.